What's good, good people, man? So before we officially get into the AEW All Out 2022 preview and predictions, I forgot to mention one of the matches that will be taking place at the show, and that is, of course, Swerve in Our Glory defending the AEW World Tag Team titles against the Acclaim, because everyone loves the Acclaim. But now, man, all jokes aside, I do think Swerve in Our Glory are going to retain the titles here, I don't really see them losing anytime soon. So, with that being said, on to the official AEW All Out preview and predictions. AEW's All Out, September 4th, 2022. And I'm here to bring you all your preview and predictions for this show. Honestly, you know, th this should be a solid show. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm. Might be a little biased here, but I do think that low key clash at the castle might low key be a better pay per view than all out. But hey, hey, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be biased here. I don't want to go into this tribalistic war here between AEW and WWE. Um, I, I still do think this could be a solid show, and hey, it could be a great show. This could be the best AEW show of this year. Like we we don't know until we watch this, but. I don't know, you know, a lot of things are going on in this company. You're like, we don't even have a main event. Like, we legit don't even have a main event because the main event took place as I'm recording this video last night. So, anyways, regardless, let's get into it, man. First things first, we got here, we got the AEW World's Trios Championships Tournament Finals. Now, right now, as I'm recording this, Will Ospreay and Aussie Open and the Young Bucks and Kenny to face each other. Spoiler alert. Dark Order does defeat the House of Black, so they're going to face the best friends. And um, I do think it's going to be the Bucks and the Elite and the best, uh, not the best friends, but the Dark Order in the finals. I do think Young Bucks and Kenny Omega are going to win. I do think that the Elite will be the first trios tag team champions. You know, you want to establish those titles. I think, you know, putting the titles on the team like the Bucks and Omega would make sense you know what i mean so i got young bucks and kenny becoming the first tag team champs at uh all out aew world trios all right so they're bringing back the aew casino ladder match obviously the caveat of this is that the winner of the casino ladder match gets a shot at the champ so who's gonna win this? Who 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 is gonna win the casino ladder match? I don't even know who's in this match. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't even think they announced who 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 who's gonna be in this match. But uh, so I can't really come out here and say, oh well, I think this guy's gonna win, or I think this guy's gonna win, or I think this guy's gonna win, you know, etc. So it should be a good match regardless. The casino ladder matches be some pretty underrated bangers i guess you can say so this should be a good match honestly former best friends former tag team partners now bitter enemies we got ricky starks versus powerhouse hobbs this is something that has been brewing for a while since powerhouse hobbs turned his back on ricky starks thus ending team taz man i i think they got to give the win to i i, I want to say powerhouse hobbs because obviously you got to establish him but ricky Ricky, 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 Ricky. Ricky Starks, man. Pretty boy needs to get the win. No offense to Powerhouse Hobbs. You're still my boy. You're still my boy. But uh, they, they got to get the win to Ricky Starks, man. You got to get that win. Um, you got to help give him established over as a top baby face. So, or at least a baby face as of right now. So just have him get the win over Hobbs. Another grudge match, man. A lot of grudge matches here. Two... Well, I wouldn't really want to say best friends. I would mostly say a mentor versus, you know, you know, student, like student versus teacher. Jungle Boy versus Christian Cage. Christian Cage has been talking a lot of crap, talking about Jungle Boy's dead father and all that. Like, oh, your dad's dead. You know, this is dead. The grass is dead. All that stuff. Like, that's every Christian Cage promo now. Like, oh, this is dead. You're dead. Your dad's dead. Your mom's dead. All that. Like, just, okay, we get it. But anyways. It's time for Jungle Boy to get his retribution. It's time for Jungle Boy to finally get his hands on Christian Cage. And to do that, 
he not only needs to whip the a-hole of Christian Cage, he needs to beat Christian Cage. So I am predicting that Jungle Boy beats Christian Cage. This is something. Uh, it's an, this is another rivalry that's been brewing for a while. Some may say over about a year now. So, uh, you know, the fact that it's going to happen and uh, this could be a good moment for Jungle Boy getting the win over a Christian Cage. This could do wonders for him, most definitely. FTR and Wartlow, a.k.a. The Pinnacle, will be taking on Jay Lethal and Alex Shelley, Chris Sabin of Impact Wrestling. So it seems like they're continuing AEW and Impact working together, even though that didn't do jack shit for no company. Excuse my language. This is a trios titles. I mean, a trios match. Um, I really do feel like this match, I mean... Again, I said this on Dynamite, it makes no sense why you have the Motor City Machine Guns, you know, being on this card, like, not gonna lie to you, and, you know, they got Warlow here, I'm seeing a lot of people saying, oh, the TNT title needs to be defended, y'all, the TNT title, that is a title that is regulated for TV, it makes more sense to have that title be defended on TV rather than being defended on a pay-per-view. So it makes sense why it's not really defended or hardly ever defended at these pay-per-views. But now you look at this match. What could this mean? Because this could we be seeing FTR versus the Motor City Machine Guns in their own tag team match? Maybe, maybe so. But as of right now, I mean, as far as this trios match goes, I, I do think FTR and Ward or Wardlow are getting the win here. Um, I, 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 as of right now, I like Motor City Machine Guns being here. I feel like they're just here so that a lot of people don't crap on this match. Because before this, everyone was like, "Oh, this makes no sense. You need to get this off the card, Tony Khan." Oh, I need to get this off the card, huh? Well, I'll just bring in the Alex Shelley and Chris Saban. How how you like them apples? So the AEW Interim World Championship, obviously Thunder Rosa had to drop the belt because she's afraid of Jamie Hayter. No offense, uh, and all jokes aside, you know, hopefully Thunder Rosa does get better. Tony Storm, Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, Hikaru Shida. You know, I find this, um, I, I think this should be a really good match. But I do think Tony Storm's going to get the win. I, I find the whole interim thing a, a little bit weird, like, just vacate the title. You know, like, we don't even know how long Thunder Rose is going to be out. So, um, but I think Tony Storm's going to win. Like, in no way in hell they're going to give the back, title back to Britt Baker. Jamie, not now. One day, just just not today. Sheeta, I wouldn't really mind Sheeta winning it. But I think it makes more sense for Tony to win it. So, I got that. All right. Brian Danielson. The American Dragon, the Lionheart Chris Jericho. You know, like I said before, man, that this show has no main event. I don't even see this match as 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 a big fight feel, as some would say. This still doesn't have a main event level to where I feel like it's your main event the show. Brian Danson and Chris Jericho should be a really good match, regardless of two. No stranger to one another. They have faced each other in the past. I do think that uh I want to say Jericho, but at the same time, I really feel like Danielson is going to get the win. So I got Brian Danielson picking up the win here, man. And uh, yeah, that is my official AEW All Out preview and predictions for 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.